Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to discuss why I believe most people in the audio hobby are so bad at it when it really is not that difficult. To master audio, you first need to come to the realization that virtually everything in audio can be understood through math and physics. Interestingly, taking my first digital signal processing course at Stanford Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics has brought this to my attention even further. Most of the concepts in my class I have eventually learned to intuitively understand over the past few years, but haven't dived into the math until now. And really doing that, diving into the math, I'm able to obtain a deeper understanding for why things work the way they do. And of course, you don't necessarily need to know the math behind everything to understand that these things make sense intuitively, but it really is interesting. A few years ago, I would say something like the Edimodi gr 2 se was the best headphone ever based on the Fourier transform of an impulse response at a single point in space, but the reason now I am able to say that the Moondrop Cosmo is the best headphone ever, or one of the best headphones ever, without even listening to it does not simply have to do with a Fourier transform at a single point in space. I understand that to accurately model a wave with 100% accuracy, you need Fourier transforms at an infinite number of points in space to accurately capture a wave and how it interacts with the total acoustical space it is occupying. So that is why headphones have more tactility than an IEM. Well, I wouldn't say that's necessarily why it has more tactility, but it is definitely a way to explain it. For example, if you're listening at a Dolby Cinema, the seats are vibrating. To really capture this vibration, you'd want to take a Fourier transform on the seat itself, or, you know, having the microphone touching the seat. And Fourier transforms are used everywhere, even for identifying the vibrations of an earthquake. And audio is just one of the applications that's used for. I mean, it's really a pretty basic concept. It's really just simple matrix multiplication in the context of sampled audio. And really just learning about all these things, you understand why high-res audio does not matter on a mathematical level. And there's just a severe lacking of education in the audio community. And this is why people have no idea what they're talking about most of the time. And it's crazy because big companies know this, but a lot of companies just make up stuff. All of the major um, snake oil companies on HeadFi will make up things that aren't true just because the community is uneducated and stupid. And if the companies are not willing to put in any work to educate anyone, then this is just how it's going to be. But I mean, any like serious audio company knows the science behind all of these things and is not going to spend that much time bullshitting you. But really just understand that audio is literally entirely math and physics and there's no magical element that cannot be quantified. And really that's the secret to getting good at audio. You have to demystify everything, look at things from their fundamental perspectives, and then it becomes really simple what ideal is. And that's kind of what I've tried to show in this channel and demonstrate. But of course, my um, praise of the Moondrop Cosmo is going to be ignored now because people like Headphones Show and Super Review, no, despite that they're calling it some of the best headphones ever, you know, to them, it doesn't matter. Like, it's just like, okay, it's like the best headphone ever. But, you know, I intuitively understand that the 100 millimeter drivers and the smooth response are going to create some of the best sound reproduction possible in a headphone. And it really does come down to knowing the fundamental principles. And the interesting thing is, like, Headphones Show is not even going to comment on the large driver and the effect it has, despite that being one of the main reasons they like the headphone, because like I've said before, there are several months behind everything I ever say on this channel and pretend that what I say is somehow not true, but 
I really think actions speak louder than words, and I've clearly demonstrated that audio is just math and physics. That's all there is to it, really.